Um, we left off with the, an animal appearing on the um, picture. You can like see the picture now. だが、俺は絶、絶滅、絶滅した絶滅でと、と、た、ずねる前に、あ、粘りが絶滅して before you st you ask right ask what before before I ask never uh, however dragons are, are extinct however dragons aren't extinct is that a question or a statement? However, uh, dragon or extinct is a statement. Right. And who says that? Nevity or Kon? Nevity. Nevity say dragon or extinct. Kon reply. Did he? Um, or he, he, he clarify what he say, what is um, extinction? Did he? What is extinct? Did he actually do that? Or he. It, he thinks in his mind. So so. He he um. He thinks in his mind, and right before he could ask, nobody give an explanation to me. Right. Perfect. <sighs> this one is uh. That's too much. That's too much. ToyuNoWaShiniTaidaToyuImiDaZetsuMetsu is the th um is um is the uh all everything die Hi. Yeah, you completely saying. die out what does Imi mean die out meaning it means completely die out. Right. What does imi mean? It's mean meaning. I mean, perfect. Ikita riyu o me ni suru koto wa konrenzai ari ari e ari e nai. Right. He say that I to see to see a living dragon not a chance. Yep, there's not a chance that you can happen upon seeing a living dragon. Nebari wa mata hong o hiraki kabe giwa ni na narande naranderu shodana no ho e ago o shakte. Miseta. Shak, uh, shakute. Shakute. Nebari. Once again, open the book. Right. And gesture his chin mm, towards the bookshelf that stand against the wall. Uh, I'm missing the miseta. 
Hi. So we he, know that Nevity is making. Show me. Yes, exactly. Show me. And do we think there's one bookshelf or multiple bookshelves? What would be your guess? I'm guessing multiple because probably would guess multiple because you have Narande. It'd be hard to line up if you didn't have at least two things. Probably more Hi. than that. Can is two things align? <laughs> Hi. Say, uh, yuka kara tenjo made aru so dana niwa the bookshelf are from the floor to the ceiling. Honga bichirito sumata ite the books uh cram packed. And Zenbu Hokorio Kabuteiru that completely covers in dust. And where are these books cramped into? Cramped into Shodana. So, so, so. Hokorio Hairae. Damate yaru no dazo. Wiped the dust and um keep quiet. Won't you? Uh, keep quiet. Right. Dazo is mostly um uh, I think it's like a command. I think it, it it does give off a command. Literally, it's not a command statement. But he's saying, you will be quiet, right? If you say it to someone, that's basically a command. You will be quiet. Dust and you will be quiet. So you see the dust is the order, is the official order. And you will be quiet is an, is an insinuated order. Um, so it is an order, um, but it's not like officially an order grammar, like harae or te form. Is saying you will be doing this. Hi. It's a, an aggressive statement, which can be which is interpreted as an order. Um, becha kucha shabera retara ochi suite homo yon menai. If you speak if you chatter i i cannot read i cannot i cannot peacefully read right i can't well, calm I down and i can't peaceful even and read. read and you translate right. that 100% perfectly do you happen to know why this is in passive form rather than just shaberu Saberaretara passive form. Because nobody is speaking, mm -hmm. nobody is saying, if I, if you start speaking to me. Yes, perfect. If you if you if you're speaking if you start chatting to me that's exactly what it's saying, um you just didn't literally translate so I just want to double check, awesome. Ore has nao ni hana su nao ni nu no o. Kashite Kite Tori Kakata Orewa Suno Orewa Obediently Search for a cloth Came back 
and begin to wipe. Perfect. That's our context. And begin. I mean, just begin. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I'll be sorry. Moving. Look for that later. Um, so our next word is haeru. Now, this kanji right here is the same kanji from ikiru. Same kanji, just a different reading. Haeru means to grow. And this is a root verb, haeru. Can you put this into te form for me? Haeru in the te form is hae te. Hi, is there a glottal stop in there? A lot. Eru, eru, eru is, I think eru is a root verb, so no glottal stop. Hai, Just hae te. Hai te. nice. Can you read this um example sentence for me? It's a ni ni wa ni ki ga hae te iru. In the courtyard, a tree lives. There lives a tree in the courtyard. Perfect. Um, kabi as a word means mold. Kabi. Um, do you kabi. know what bakari means? This is normally attached to like a noun. In this sentence, it says shitiru koto bakari, but it, it can go be attached to any noun, and koto is a, just a random noun that's attached to bakari. Bakari, when attached to a noun, mean. It had the same meaning as dake. It is very only, similar to only. dake in that you're correct that they both mean only, but they're slightly different onlys. Dake means only one. Bakari means only all. For example, the only people that visit my store were girls. In that sentence, more than one girl has visited the store. So you can't really so you so you wouldn't really use dake there, um like you kind of probably could but like the insinuation would be more natural to use bakari to just mean all of this one type of thing. So shitteru koto bakari means all it is is stuff that is already known. So it's all in an only kind of way. So it's like all inclusive. So it is only, but I just want to specify that it has a all insinuation that dake does not have. Um, so if you use bakari, there should be more it... than one if you're using bakari. If only one person visits Hi. your store, bakari should not be used. Um, and then dake should be. <laughs> um, okay. Hi. Let's go read the example. I would say whole. Home wa urui mono bakari de dore mo kabi ga iete iru. Haete. Haete. Haete iru. Bakari de. The books. Or no, I'm sorry. Let's say um, there are nothing but old books. Um, dore mo, meaning all of them, or whichever one. Uh, kabiga. Right, um, have got um mode kiete iru. Haete iru. All of them. I'm sorry. Haete, haete iru. All of them have modes living. Yes, mold is growing on all of them. So you're correct. This this kanji here is ikiru, which means to live. Ikiru. However, ha-e-ru, with the ikiru kanji, ha-e-ru, 
means to grow, to be growing. Um, so mold is growing on all of the books. Hi. Right. Um, so next we have a counter. Can you read this counter for me? Satsu. Perfect. So satsu is used to count volumes, as in books. This is not used to count books in like a seasonal order. Like if you had one, two, three, four, you don't use satsu for that. But if you said I grabbed a volume from the shelf, let's say you randomly grabbed three, the volume you, you randomly grabbed one volume, that would be satsu. Um, if you want to talk about specific volumes, use a different word, which is um, maki, I believe. Um, maki, which is this kanji. Um, might not be pronounced as maki, uh, but this is the counter for like volume one, volume two type of thing. So succinct, succinct. Well, I can't say the word, but yeah, that that's different than this. So what does satsu count? It counts a whole sections of volume. Oh, it, it it just counts a volume, a volume, or it counts a number of books. Hi. It just has to be a book. Um, it doesn't matter which volume of book you have. So in the word English, you might say, "I have volume two of Demon Slayer." Satsu would not be used for that. Is just what I'm pointing out. Um, volume two of De Demon Slayer is not saying you have two volumes of Demon Slayer. So, it's, it's like, so in English, the word volume has two meanings is the issue. So I have volume two of, like I said, Demon Slayer versus I have two volumes of Demon Slayer. These have two very different meanings, right? I have Hi. volume two of Demon Slayer. I have two volumes of Demon Slayer. The second one, I have two volumes, is satsu. I have two books of Demon Slayer. The one on the top, I have volume two, specifically mentioning which, describing the volume um, of a, um, a book within a series, that'd be maki, which is this kanji that we are not seeing here. So I'm just saying that satsu counts a book. It's a counter for books, but in English, we use the counter volume um for this so two volumes so volume is like a better translation can you say i have two books of demon slayer that doesn't make sense in english right we don't say that um you could say there's two books on the shelf in which case you could translate with that's it that way um but i just wanted to point that out that which is confusing that um that english word does that but yeah so that's it is just a book the series does not matter with Satsu. has no relationship with series. So what is this counter read as? Satsu. Perfect. And is S, is the S sound in Satsu, is that voiced or voiceless? Um, I'm sorry, I think it's voice. Um... It is voiceless. Sa Voice is adding 10, 10 marks. Could you make an S sound and then turn it into a Z sound for me and put your hand on your throat? All right, so S is S and Z is Z. Can you um, and there's rather a than vibration. putting- Yes, but rather than putting a space in between them, can you just do, do the S and turn it into Z? So S, right. S, do that without doing the break. It makes it more obvious the- Difference. Welcome. Hi. Uh. So one is. So there's a vibration. In your throat. Hi. From and everything the, else is exactly the same. The, Tongue is there. Air is doing that. Hi. Hi. Perfect. So that's why sa is voiceless. If you do, you don't need a throat. Um. To go sister. Our next word is tameshi, not tamashi, totally different word, tameshi. Tameshi means trial or to test, but not to take a test. It's to test something, not to take a test. 
Um, for example, as you learn Japanese, this is a very common word to see on websites, specifically websites with ebooks, because you'll see this word right here. Can you read this word for me? Tameshi yomi. Hi. This is that. That's that free sample pages from an ebook that you can read. That's what that means. It says trial reading or test pick, like reading of text. So it's just a, something you can read a little bit to test whether or not you want to read the book. So you'll you'll see this on all of the ebook Japanese ebook sites, and that's just what you click in order to get those sample pages. Um, but yeah, English is called a sample page. But yeah. So what does tameshi mean? Tameshi means to to test something or to try right. something. Yep, and it is a noun. Tameshi. Um, any idea how to read this counter? Like like the, this this together, the one volume. Ichi satsu. So this is ichi and this is satsu. However, satsu we just told me was voiceless. Voiceless. Hi. So this means something's gonna happen to chi. Similarly, if this was a tu, the same thing would happen. There's a rule in Japanese that chi and tu, something happens to them when this word creation boundary occurs and the thing below it is voiceless. Any idea what happens to chi and tu? Hi, so it will be, it will get the glottal stop. So it's oh. itsatsu. Yeah, itsatsu. So you could say it. Satsu, but it's a lot easier just to make the S long. Isatsu. It takes a lot of effort to fully block that. But yep, exactly. So same with um, Hatsuon, which is pronunciation, and Hakken, which is discovery. Ke, ke, ke is the voiceless versus ge, right? Add 10, 10 marks to mark voiceless. Ke, ge. So Hakken, Hatsuon, all vowels are voice. Oh. I'm just teaching that rule. That way it's easier to read counters. Um, so tamashi meant trial, a test, to test something, but like a noun. How would you turn this noun into an adverb? A noun to adverb, it would be tamashi good. Good guess. So you're thinking about adjectives. An adjective, for example, is um oki oki is a adjective specifically it is a e adjective e adjectives end with a hiragana character e they do not necessarily end with e sounds the e adjective oki is actually just oki oki this is the e adjective and then we added e to mark it as an e adjective and that's how it shows up in the dictionary um but for example kire Right here, ki, de, e. This e is actually part of the net of the word kire. It's not a thing we stuck onto it in order to mark adjectiveness. Kire is a na adjective, so you stick na on top of kire to turn it into an adjective. As you can see, there's not a hiragana e sticking at the end of the word. Or kawaii, right? Right here, we have kawaii, and then we're adding this extra e in order to mark it as an e adjective. So adjectives that are called e adjectives means we threw on a second e hiragana character. So to turn an e adjective into an adverb, you drop the e and add ku, kawakute, um, or okite, okiku, uh, okiku or um, kawaiku, things like that. However, um, for nouns like um, inu and for na adjectives like kire, these are both na adjectives, kire, which means you add na um, for kire and you add no for inu. Um, in order to turn these into adverbs, you add ni, inu ni, kire ni, and that is how you turn those into adverbs. So how would you turn the noun tamashi into an adverb? Hi. So 
we say tanashini. Okay, tanashini, perfect. Which is test, testing in a testing like way. So tada as an if when and to as an if when are different. Do you have to know a way that these two are different? We discussed that tada is it's for a, a future time. Yeah, it's talking about one um, the next event. Yeah. Hi, one instance Hi. of future time. To and it's to. saying uh, the category of of instant so whenever whenever yes. summer come i go to japan so exactly. the category is summer and the result is always japan exactly perfect yep 100 percent versus this one event nice good memory for that one okay let's go read the lines from the book tameshini itsatsu hirai tara Sakasakasato Otogashita um, Tameshini is an adverb describing Hirai. Yes. So when I open one volume in a testing way. In other yeah. words, basically he cautiously kind of opens it. Yes, in order to is a good way of translating to English. Yeah, I guess I don't know how else to say. Or is he cautiously? He cautious, but that's well. Not it, it's not really cautious. It's, it's, it's just like when you're taking like the, he's curious, right? Um, he's curious about the books. So he decides he's going to open the book. And signifying his curiousness, cautious is the wrong word, you're right, is that we use tameshini, is testingly, like like you're, like, but I guess curiously he opened the book would be a better um, definition in this context. Because the tameshi something means you're curious enough that you want to test it out. So he wanted, so he wanted to test the book by opening it, to look at it for a second. So curiously would be a good way of translating in this context. I, when I curiously open one volume, it create the sound katsa katsa. Perfect. So katsa katsa is a very dry sound. Um, so this is the sound of probably like if you've ever cracked the spine of a book. Probably that kind of sound. It's some crink this is some crinkly dry paper that has apparently mold on it. Um do you know what fuku means? This is a verb to mean uh, to tie something. Good guess. Fuku means to wipe. Specifically with this kanji. There's lots of um verbs for fuku. But this means to wipe something, like using a cloth to wipe um something. What is the stem form of fuku? The stem form of fuku is fuki. Perfect. And do you know what kawo shikameru means? Kawo shikameru. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Right. What does cow mean? He, he, he. It mean face in the that accusative. Mean. Accusative? I, I mean, it received the action. Oh, hi, hi, hi. The yes, face yes. is going to receive some action yes, being he done does, to Nevedi it. Yes, he has something uh, done to his face, and he's doing it to his face. So, shikameru means to frown or to grimace, because shikameru means to screw up. To screw. So, he uh, screws up his to face. Screw up. And this to is because in the context, he's concentrating face. a lot. He's 
Gur is his brows a bit, making me so sticks out his tongue, maybe. He's doing that kind of thing. Scamming it. Right. So he's like scamming. Um, can you read this word for me? Hi. Fuki toru. Hi. So this is a compound word using toru, toru, which means to take, and fuki from fuku, which means to wipe. So fuki toru specifically means to wipe using, you know, paper or cloths in order to clean up something that's dirty. So theoretically, fuku. Could ju is just the physical action of wiping. You could be wipe wiping something that is um clean, or you could be wiping and not make it anything clean at all. But the point is that you're wiping something, and the dirt is coming off in some way because you've taken the dirt off by wiping. Okay, so let's go read. Taking the, the dirt off by wiping. Hi. And what does right. kao o shikameta mean? Shikameru? Kao o shikameta means screw up the face. Perfect, perfect. So let's go read the line. Nebari ga urusa so ni. Urusa so ni. Right, from urusai. Kochi o. Right from Urusai, take the knee. No, it's so so. It's like he, he's volitional. So no, is Urusai a verb? Let's let's read the whole sentence first, and I'll help you with Urusaso. Um. Hi. Kochi o mitte kao shikameta no de. Sono hon o to to pochite hokori o fukitori shodana ni modon modoshita. Perfect. So I'm going to wipe off this page. So, um, do 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 do. Urusai. What is urusai? Is that a noun, adjective, or a verb? Urusai. Urusai. I think is a noun. That's a good guess. Urusai with a hiragana e character added to it is a e adjective. Um, I did not. Hi. I guess I haven't taught you Udusai before. It's a very common word for most people to know if you watch a lot of anime. It means um, annoying or loud. And normally a character will be like, Udusai! To mean shut it. Right? Because they're saying you're loud. Like, Damate! Udusai! Um, so Udusai, it was added to So Na. So is a na adjective. So means like, like looks like, specifically. It is used when e is dropped to talk about the appearance of an object. For example, omoshiroi means interesting, but omoshiro so na means looks interesting. So omoshiro so na hon is a book that looks interesting. You don't know for sure that the book is interesting, but it has a kick ass cover. Omoshiro so na hon. Um, if it was um, omoshiroi sona, to say this is something slightly different, this would mean that you heard from the rumor mill that it was interesting, like from TikTok. So a TikTok book is a moshiroi sona hon. So here we have the e dropped, so we know we're talking about the appearance. So someone has an appearance of being annoyed, of that some the, someone has appearance like something is loud um, or to shut it. So the person who, um, then it has a knee here. What is knee mark? If this soul used to be a not adjective. It marks this as an adverb. Yeah, so we're describing the way in which nevody is doing the action of mite. 
So what did Nebudi do? Nebudi ga urusaso ni kochi o mitte. Mani, I'm sorry. You、Hi. you mentioned that when the e is dropped、Hi. right before the so. Yes. It means. Looks. It looks like, but if it still had the e there, hi, then it means something else. Heard. Urusa e so na. Hi, that would mean you heard it on TikTok that that person was annoying. Someone told you they were annoying, but you didn't see it yourself. But、yes. someone told you,、uh, the kid told the teacher that、uh, Sam was urusa e so, urusa,、uh, and the teacher's like ah. <laughs> the children that are、uh, seemingly annoyingly loud, but the teacher wasn't actually there. Someone else tattled, right? This means you heard that someone was annoying. This means so the thing is when so is being used, it means you make a hypothesis based、right. off of information. If the e is there, the information was. Found through listening to people. Someone told you some information, and you made a hypothesis off of that. If the e is dropped, your hypothesis is made based off of visual data, such as the look on someone's face or the appearance of a book, a book cover. So judging a book by its cover, by default, is going to be using soul. Oh yeah, that book looks interesting, because you have not read the book yet. You're judging it based off of the cover. But if you say, "Oh, I heard that book is interesting," not you're not judging it by its cover. You're judging it based off of something you heard someone else say. Prop. So, like a book talk book would be soul with the e in front of it. That's a book talk book, and then soul without the e is a library book, a book you just randomly grabbed at the library. Um, grabbed a dollar, a shelf book, I guess. So. Nobody he kochi o mitte. What does that mean? It means that、uh, he looks at me,、Hi. or in other words, he looks my way. Yeah, and he looks at the way as if he's saying, a... "You're loud. You're annoying." Looks in a. You loud. It's an. It's loud. Kind of way, and they go over to. His, and the reason why he basically thinks this is because of the look nobody puts on his face when he looks at him, which was what kind of look? It's a grimace. It's a sakametai, a screwed up face. Yeah, nobody's a, like, ugh, looks at me. He's like, they're loud、look. and kind of grimaces at him. So, what does the main character do? Therefore, no de, um, so no hong o, so to, toji de. So to、mm. is softly. Softly, so to. I grab. I'm sorry. I. Toji did. Toji is to grab. Toru is to grab. Is to close. To, to, yes, Toji do is to close. Hi. So how does he close the book? Hi. He softly. He、Hi. closes. And why did he、softly. close the book? Any idea? Because the book was making noise, so. <laughs> Specifically, I was like making noise. He was yeah, like, "You're, yeah. you're, you're being annoying." So urusai means like loud, but it does have like a annoying kind of connotation. So I would go more toward there, because logically, I, I guess the book was、yeah. making a kata kata, was making some loud noises when he was opening it, because it's such a fresh、uh, <laughs> book. So I guess that is possible. <laughs> I. Um, hokori o fukitori. Um, I wipes away, or I take away. Wipe away is、dust. great. Away is what the toru is insinuating, and the wiping is the physical action you're doing. Hi. 
کی تھوڑی وائی پہ وائی سودانا نی مدو سیتا I return it to the bookshop. Perfect. Good job, because I didn't actually do a thing for the verb modose, which is the first time we've seen that. It is related to modoru, has the same kanji. Um, do you know how modoru and modosu are different? Because you translated it correct, but just, just curious. Hi, so modoru is tekka. Mo dosu take o. It takes an object. Yep, exactly. It takes a um direct object. Perfect. Yep. So that's to return a book, and this is to return myself. Awesome. Um, kanji check. How would you say one volume? Uh, kanji one volume is e satsu. Perfect. And what does haiteiru mean? Haiteiru mean it grows, it growing. Yep, growing. Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? The word is zenshin. Hi. And zenshin is basically a noun, though you don't really use no with it. And it means like the whole body, the whole thing. Um, start with zen. What did it end with? Shin. Hi, zenshin. Ronnie, what is the difference between this zen, zen shin and zen tai? Mm, I don't think there's really much difference. Um, Zenbu is officially an adverb, while Zenshin is officially a noun. <laughs> and Zentai, um, using the body kanji, would probably be the same, exact same. A lot of times, Shin and Tai can be replaced with each other, but Zentai is officially an adverb. So oh. you can't say uh, Zentai ga is the difference. <laughs> Zentai ga is grammatically incorrect, but Zenshin ga is grammatically correct. So Zenshin can take the particle ga. The other two cannot take the particle ga. That that is the difference. Um yeah, they, they both right. mean the whole entire body. Um so fuku, what did that mean? Means, uh, means to wipe. Hi, and what is the past tense of wipe? The past tense. Fukita. Fuita. Ita. The K is dropped. Fuita. Fuku. Fuita. For example, kaku means to write. Turns into kaita. So ku turns into ita for past tense. Um, can you read this word for me? Zen Shin. Hi, the whole body. Oops. And here is a line to read. Just so you know, there's no comma here. It just did not fit in one line. No comma. No comma. So, Chotto Fuita. だけで布は枕俺は全身ほこりまみれになったがそのまま掃除 Soji. Oh. Your first reading was right. Oh, this word. Suzukeru? Oh, Suzukeru. Suzuketa. Right. Okay. Um, Chotto. 
っただけで布は The cloth is only the cloth that only um what is Choto Fuita mean white white a little bit a little bit what does dake mean dake mean only only Here wiped a little bit the... only wiped a little bit and what happened to the cloth the... oh this is the day is not modifying no no it's a it's its own clause it it kind of is but this is but it's it's basically modifying so the these these are are yes, describing it i it's like i can't i can't really say exactly how the grammar is here um but with with a comma, the meaning would be more aggressively different. But th this is linked. There there is a logic connection between these two actions. They're 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 not separated. Um, All right. He say wipes a little bit, and the cloth is true black. It's, it's very black. So it basically this dake um, did turned into even though in this context. With just wiping a little bit, the cloth is completely black. Right? So with de just wiping oh, mommy, did a little so that, bit. That de there is not the te form of the da. That probably te form da and tu, tool de are probably the same thing, and you just kind of flip flop depending on what works, depending on the context. <laughs> I see. I mean, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know for sure. I'd have to find a linguistic textbook, but it, it's probably the same thing, whether or not you translate it as and or with. But here, with would be the translation that would make most sense, and you kind of need the comma normally for dead to have that and meaning um so it could be different and that's why right. you know the difference if it's dead plus comma that is the and meaning versus for example if you have two verbs with te sometimes you don't use and because the two actions are occurring at the same time right like uh earlier when nevity was crossing the room and dodging the garbage you had te form with two verbs but there was no comma to make it show that they were more linked than usual. Um, so, but how things are translated just depends on context a lot. So, yep, with that, the cloth became pitch black. And you can see how Bakari would have been horrible in this context. <laughs> he, he only wiped once. <laughs> he, just, he just wiped a little bit. Boom. But if he said all he did was wipe, it's totally different, right? So, that that's how... I think it's another good example of how those can't replace these two. Even though in English they're both only. Um so what else happened? It's um ore wa zen shin hokori ma mire ni natta. I became Uh, smear in dusk. Exactly. My whole body Poor became con. smear with dusk. Uh, However, sono mama soji o suketa. I continue. Um, cleaning it in that way. Uh, yep, I continue to clean in that way, or so. Two, so I no guess, mama. is the way you can treat it. Like... So, sono mama means the previously stated condition is continuing. What happened in the last clause? He 
wipes it. So, Last clause was ore wa zenshin kokore mamire ni natta. He, um, his body became smeared with yes. dust. So he so, continued so that So continuing way. to be steered, smeared with dust. I, I just, I still continued to dust. So basically he's saying he didn't like, oh, I got to go get clean now. I'm supposed to be cleaning the house. I got to go change my clothes, get some water. But because he's covered in dust now, but he's, he's continuing to clean anyway. So Soma Mama just means he's, he's still covered in dust. So he now he continues that. So that just means last mentioned thing is still occurring. So this is con right here. He's con covered in dust. He's now a soot spray. Um, Hi. Um, do you know how to read this word? Oh. Omeji. Hi, Meiji, which is an order. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Oh. Mere. Yep, Mere. And what is Mere? I was kind of. What? That Ray or that May. Right. By itself, it would be an ichi no, right? I mean, like the life. Hai. Lai. O no chi hai. I no chi hai. But in that case where it had the o in front of it. Yeah. Um. Specifically, it's a g after it. It wasn't. Meiji. The g after it. The g after it. O is yeah, there was, for politeness. It wasn't ichi no. Hai. Well, I the mean, same thing no it happens with ikiru, right? Ikiru. Right? Haeru. Or, um, agaru. Sorry. Um, yeah. Um, uh, sagaru. And, um, oriru. Right? Sometimes kanji will have multiple ways you can read them when you add special magic hiragana characters to it. So, inochi is how that kanji is read when there's nothing added to it. It's just that plus particle O or particle ga or whatever, or no. Versus when you add the special verb things to it, there is a special, well, in this case, Meiji is a noun, which is a order. Um, so it's it's just a thing you add. So that's just one of those like E versus ha or sa versus O things. So a little bit of an exception from inochi versus mei. Um, you could argue that maybe this, mm, well, it's not May's own reading to it, but yeah. That's just what I'm pointing out. Just, just an exception. Hi, Meiji. Right. And do you so know this what is this mei is? Rei. Hi. What does Meiji mean? Mei. It's, mei. This mean? This mean command. Or the Perfect. Name. The command. The command. Starts with me. What does it end with? Re. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So let's go read this example sentence. Yushin. Yoshin. Yojinbo wa. Metsu Sky Meshi Sky O Mereshita The bodyguard gives command to the servant. Perfect. The bodyguard commanded the servant or gave a command. You know what yo yaku mean? This is a time phrase. Yoyaku. Yoyaku. Harigane. Kapitato. Kapitato. Hi. He, for a short time, I believe. Good guess. Sadly, no. So, Yo, this right here says, 
素早く手を動かす、動かすうちに、ようやく針金がぴったりとはまって、ドアノブが回った。Which means, while I was moving my hand swiftly, finally, the wire fits in exactly perfect and the door knob spins. So, yo yaku means finally. But it doesn't exactly mean the word finally like it does in English. Is it faster or slower than the word finally? Yo yaku. Mm. I think it's faster. It is faster. Yep. Basically, yoyaku doesn't actually have an insinuation of speed in it. It just means like at the end. But at the end in English sounds very dramatic. I feel like at the end, the thing happened. Well, finally has a little bit extra of a time thing in it, but it just normally translates better. But the, basically, this was the final thing he was doing. It's like the goal. This is what he, they were aiming for, basically, and they reached that goal. So it's a little bit fat, so quite a bit faster normally than y o l y a k u Do you know how to read this word? Shigoto. Perfect job.、Um, specifically, I'm looking for the second kanji in this word, but you could read the whole word. The second kanji.、Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Tabe. Tabe owari. You were correct. It is the kanji for owari. Owari. However, The wa is not over the kanji. Owari. So it's oe, oedu.、Um, one takes o and one takes ga type of thing. Owari, oedu.、Um, so, tabe oedu means to finish eating. Tabe oedu. So, o is how that kanji is read. You want to read this kanji? That's it. Perfect. Do you know what betu means? It means.、Mm, it means other. Yeah, or... other or different. Perfect. So this right now is a noun. So I'd like you to turn it into a verb and then put it into passive form. So what is a passive form of order? So we take. Mere suru, and we turn it into mere sareru. Perfect. Mere sareru, to be ordered.、Okay, okay, here is your last line of the day. ようやく別の仕事を終えて現れたベネットが粘りに命令されてお下の部屋から魔術の道具が詰まった箱をいくつも運んできた。Perfect. So, what's the subject of the sentence? The subject. Is what is our main subject?、Um, we have two Pacific gauze here that are mentioned. Only one of them is the main subject, the other one is a relative clause. Hi, the main subject here is. Bonetto. Correct. Bonetto. 
So Bennett is doing oite, arawareru, meiji, and kakonde kita. So our first verb is oite. Yoyaku, betu no shigoto o oite, arawareta. What did Bennett do? He finished the other work. Right. In the end, I at the, last, oh, yes, at last he finished the, his work, and then what did he do? He finished. Arawareta. Datoga. Arawareru means to appear, but not in a magician way appearing. Just basically coming into existence, coming into a location that you can see him. So basically, all I want to do is more like showed up, I guess. And on this context. So, but that showed up having fin finally finished his job. Or, or it was at the end, because the main character was waiting for this. This was his goal. He's like, I guess I have to be dusting in here because he really, really wants to see what's in the box, right? He came up here from down below in order to <laughs> ask Bennett if he could bring the box up so he could fiddle with the cool things in there. And nobody was like, no, I'm going to tell Bennett to do it later. Um, So Khan's like, okay, Bennett's here. Yo, yaku, yatta. He's happy, okay. Because this, this is the new final like thing. So Bennett, he um is done with a job and has appeared. And what happened to Bennett? Nebari ni mere sarete. He received a, an order from Nebari. Hi. And then what did he do? Chita no heya kara machutsu no dogu. He carries um ikutsumo is an amount, right, Mani? Yep, it is quite a few. Several. Quite a few. He carries he carry back quite a few boxes that was packed with magical tools from the room below. Perfect. Yep. And that is where we're going to end for the day. Any specific questions before we go?